Hey, Adam Dukes here. I wanted to record this quick video on how to do some audience research, customer research when advertising on Facebook. This goes for e-commerce, this goes for local lead generation, this goes for online marketing. <clears throat> Excuse me, this goes for just about everything. I'm going to do an example for kind of e-commerce. Uh, the niche I'm going to select is wine, um, if you're selling anything related to wine. Um, so you go to Audience Insights uh, on the Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, you just click these little three arrows, or I'm sorry, three lines, and look for Audience Insights. Um, we're already here. So here's the Audience Insights. It kind of gives you um, some really, really, very, very, very um, useful data. Um, we're going to go location, we're going to keep United States, um, age and gender, I'm going to go with 25, I'm going to go with women, and I will keep it, uh, it's at 65 is the highest, we'll just keep it at that. Interest, uh, we will do, um, you can type in interest, as you can see, you can search through here. Um, connections, you can, if they're connected to certain pages of yours. Uh, so you can type in the page here. You can also um, deselect, uh, not connected to pages. Uh, you could go to advanced. Uh, this has got some pretty interesting information. Uh, behaviors, uh, there's tons of different behaviors, anniversaries, charitable donations, things like that. Uh, we're not going to really use any of this, um, this stuff in this example. But as you can see, you can go to politics, very conservative, moderate, liberal, very liberal. Pretty neat. Parents, uh, what type of parents, if they're all parents, um, if they have children 0 to 3, 4 to 12. Um, all kinds of things, market segments, um, really, really, really interesting um, things you can do. They're always adding things in here. Uh, you can search by finance, uh, work, you can do job title. Uh, if they have a home office, a small office, a corporation. Uh, education, high school, college, and graduate, relationship status, if you're single, married, things like that. Um, and then if you want to search by device owner, uh, if you want to go mobile, uh, Apple products, Google products, and or Samsung. Uh, life events, if they've recently moved, if they're away from the family, new relationship, upcoming birthday. Pretty powerful stuff. We're just going to use the interests um, for this example. And let's go up here. And so I'm going to just do wine. I know that's super general. And the demographics here, we're going to see the demographic. It's going to be women. Uh, as you can see, women 25 to 34 uh, is the most popular. And then the next popular, up, uh, oh, yeah, the next popular. Most popular is 35 to 44 women. And then the next one, as you can see, it tails down. Uh, now I turned off the men. Let's do all here just to kind of show you. Oh, look at that. Uh, men, it's more uh, for wine, uh, more interest in men from 25 to 34. That is very surprising to me. Um, so let's just keep it at, um, we'll, we'll keep it at all. We'll search for men and women. Typically I would only search women, but um, I learned something here. So I'm going to go with page likes. Um, you can search location, activity, household. Let's go through here real quick. Uh, the top categories, uh, you can kind of go through here. Publisher, these are publishers uh, related to wine, health and beauty, nonprofit, things like that. Uh, we're going to get into these page likes here in a minute. We'll deeper dive into that. Uh, you could do location if you wanted to. Obviously, I'm targeting the United States, uh, but as you can see, Santa Rosa, California, um, is the most, uh, look at that, Enterprise Nevada, that's where I live, 0.4%. Uh, um, so that's the selected audience of 25 to 65 year old men and women who like wine. Uh, this is, uh, look at that, El Paso, Texas, looks like it's the highest one. Oh, New York, New York, I sorted it by percentage. So you can kind of uh, look at activity, or I'm sorry, location, activity, this is uh, frequencies of activities. Uh, in the last 30 days, if they commented, post likes, things to deal with wine. Again, a ton of data. I'm not even familiar with some of these things. I don't use these ones. I, I go with the uh, demographics and the page likes. Uh, household, this is household income. Pretty uh, interesting. People, 32% uh, make fifty to $75,000. Household size, home market value, spending methods, home ownership, and their purchase behavior, uh, kind of where they're you can sort by here, food and drink, retail spending, online purchases. So I'm going to go back to the page likes. And here is what I do. I use this spreadsheet that I have, a targeting spreadsheet, targeting cheat sheet here. And I go through, and these are kind of the things. Now, these aren't going to be used for for all, any, every niche. Uh, this is kind of a general thing. Some will work in some niches, some won't. Associations, probably not wine. Athletes, probably not wine. Um, there's probably books on wine. Um, 
I'm not sure if there's best-selling authors, but I'd assume there's probably books. Uh, wine blogs, I'm sure there's some wine blogs. Wine charities, probably not. I'm not going to go through each and every one of these, but as you can tell, clubs, no. Uh, colleges, universities, no. Communities, no. Competitions, probably not. Conferences, possibly. Uh, but just kind of, I'm going to use some of these, um, and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. And I'm going to go with wine manufacturers. No idea if I spelled that right. So we're going to look up wine manufacturers, and we're going to go to trusty old Google. And we're going to search for wine manufacturers. And I want to look for, you know, let's do wine brands. That's probably a better word. Top 100 wine brands. So this is going to take, this is some, um, this is probably the unsexy part of um, advertising on Facebook. It's also the most important part of advertising on Facebook is knowing your market, finding these interests. It's very, very important. Uh, a lot of people are very lazy with this and kind of half-ass this um, and their results show. So the more time you spend on this, the better. So we're going to look for the brands. These are the top 20 of the 100 wine brands um, of 2008. I don't really care the year. I don't know wines that much. So Kendall Jackson, I'm going to post here. Kendall Jackson there. And then I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet, and I'm going to do Kendall Jackson. And we'll highlight that, yeah. So that is one brand that shows up. Sutter Home, we're going to go back to Facebook, and we're going to see if we can add it in here. Sutter Home comes up a few times. We'll use all three of them. And as you can see, they populate right here. Sutter Home, Sutter Home Winery. Sutter, Sutter Home Wines. We're going to take out the winery because that's going to be, I will skip one, that is going to be the next category. So Sutter Home. And then we're going to go to, we're just going to go to Behringer. Uh, yeah, we'll go to Behringer. Bin. Right there. That is a, another one. I'll just copy and paste. I don't like, uh, oh, that's, that looks fine. And we'll go down to the next one. And you kind of just keep doing this over and over. Okay, Franzia doesn't show up. So Wine Taps doesn't show up. So you erase it because I know Franzia is a big brand. Um, so you kind of kind of play with it. Not all of the interest will show up here. So we got Franzia. F-R-A-N-Z-I-A. -A. And then we'll go down to the next one. Copy and paste into the interest. Ingle Nook, we're going to keep this one. We're going to put this one in the winery section. Whoops. And I'm going to exit out because I just want um, these. Uh, I just want these ones right now for the wine brands. Winery, we'll add that one here. Let's go back to this uh, Google listing. Yellowtail, I know that's a popular one. I've actually heard of that one. Not sure this is wine. It, yeah, it probably is. We'll go back. Oops, yellow tail, and we'll add that to our list. We'll go back to the Copper Ridge. That sounds like a popular one. Scottsdale United. So you see Scottsdale Unified School District. I have no idea why that came up when I typed in uh, Copper Ridge. Um, so Copper Ridge does not show up. That's okay. We'll do Cabot. And I don't see Cabot. Like I said, all of these are not going to show up. Woodbridge, probably somewhere in here, but I'm not seeing it, so we're just going to skip it. Let's try Salmon Creek. That looks like a city, or yeah, a city. Uh, so we got enough here. We got about eight or ten uh, here, and what we're going to do is we're going to want to see um, the people who like these wines, these wine brands or manufacturers, they also are going to like these pages, the Groupon, Yellowtail. And what we're going to do is we want to sort it by affinity. This shows how popular um, these are actually pretty low affinity. We want um, we want 10 or higher typically, um, but that but that's not hor uh, horrible. Um, we're going to try to add Kim Crawford wines up here. Kim Crawford wines is a uh, is a wine. I'm going to deselect food and drink alcoholic beverages because this is so um, broad. 
if someone likes wine, that doesn't mean if they like wine on Facebook. That doesn't necessarily mean they like drinking wine. Uh, if they like these type of, um, if they like these brands on Facebook, they probably um, are more targeted audience. So we're going to get rid of this one. We'll see if it changes the affinity. I have a feeling it will. Look at that. The affinity shot right up. So because that wine one was so general, so much, much better. Like I said, we want to be above 10. So um, let's try this up. Oh, there's one that I had saved here. Kim Crawford Wines. And let's try this oh, Jason Wines. I have no idea. I'm mispronouncing it most likely. Okay. It's not showing up. We will try Bella Ambience. And it's not showing up. JC, oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. <laughs> and we'll try this one. And you kind of just keep going and copy and paste and trying. And these aren't showing up. Lewis, this would be under winery. And it doesn't show up. Montez Wines. And nope. Fetzer. Nope. Chloe Wine Collection. Nope. We're going to go to see more. And we'll continue going down and kind of just copying, pasting, and see if any of these show up on Facebook. Okay, this Echo Domani did. We're going to go back and go to Echo Domani, paste it in the wine manufacturers. And let's try the Noble Vines wine. Nope. Wines from Spain. Oh, we can do Spanish wine. That sounds like one. And we'll put that on our list, Spanish wine. Let's go back to the Google listing. Uh, ones that are having too much luck with the Facebook ones. Let's try Erasing Vineyards, Fox wine. Nope. Try to Barefoot Cellars. It doesn't look like it. Taylor California Cellars. Nope. Oh, there's that Echo Damani, the one we just found. Sycamore Lane, nope. We'll just go to these 20 right here. Like I said, it kind of, this is a tedious process. It's very, very important. You only have to do it one time. Uh, Chateau Saint, let's see, which one is this? Chateau Saint Michel, sounds like it's a, it's a wine. So we're going to go back to our list, add that on there. And this last one. Meza, there we go, that one worked as well. Meza Corona Wines. We'll go back and put in our list. So now we have about nine different wine brands and or manufacturers. Uh, this is going to help us when we launch our Facebook ad. We are going to use these brands and or manufacturers. Now let's go to winery. I am going to go to winery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these because these are wine brands and I don't want them to I want to look up just wineries. So we're going to go E&J Gallo Winery. And let's see, we are going to go with Carlo Rossi, I know as a, as a brand that we missed. So we're going to do Carlo Rossi right there. Uh, and we're just going to do winery. Keep typing winery. What I like to do is um, Type winery, Sutter Home Winery. Okay, so there's a Sutter Home and then there's a Sutter Home Winery. We'll grab that one here. And let's type in winery again. As you can see, there's quite a few wineries. So we're going to copy this, paste it here. And we're going to do winery again. And we'll highlight, copy and paste. Winery again. Some really, really weird names that I'm not going to attempt to um, try to pronounce. Winery again. Winery dogs, I doubt it. Let's do, uh, which one was that one? Um, I missed it. Marisol. There we go, this one. Um, let's see, winery, I think we have them all. Uh, we could do general winery. We'll add that in there. That might be a pretty... Uh, pretty broad one. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, let me just delete that. See, yeah, we're going to delete that. As you can see, the affinity scores rose up. We're going to try this Robert Andavi private selection. Whoops. Nope. We're going to see if Facebook shows it. It does. So we're going to keep that there. We already have that one. That one didn't show up. We'll try Woodbridge. Woodbridge by Robert 
This Robert guy is pretty popular. We're going to go with Louis Martini Winery. Nope. Um, let's go back to the trusted Google, and we're going to search for top wineries. Right here, I like looking for the list post. This is very, very helpful. So you don't have to go through each and every website. Top 100, top 10, top 5, top 7, top 28, whatever it is. These are perfect. So you can just kind of go to these list posts and just kind of copy and paste. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's try. We're not going to go through all of these, but. And no, that doesn't look like it's a wine, the winery that we're looking for. Go here. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Let's try Banshee Wines. Nope. All right. Well, not having too much luck with these ones. That's not it. Let's go back one. Let me see if I can find. Just kind of uh, clicking on some of these Google links and just testing it. Whoops. Get that advertisement off here. Um, top 25 wineries in California. Let's go to that one real quick. These are all slideshows, I think, unfortunately. I don't want slideshows. I want an actual list. Of course, this is a slideshow as well. Let's see if Alpha Omega. Quite a few Alpha Omegas, so nope, that's not going to work. As you can see, a lot of these are slideshows, kind of a pain. Um, Charles Smith Wines, let's see if that works. Kind of a pain, so uh, for, for time purposes, I'm not gonna go much deeper into that one. So there are the wineries. Let's see, wine magazines. Probably not a ton of them, um, but probably some with some decent followings. So what we're gonna do is look for, we're gonna delete all these again. And let's type in wine magazine. F food and wine magazine. It doesn't look like it's a big following, but we'll still add it. Assemblier India, the wine magazine. We'll do that one. We'll type it in again. Food and Wine is another popular one. It's a very popular one. And we're going to pull up these magazines right here. Bon Appetit magazine. Let's see if that's on there. It is not. Let's see if this one is on there. Facebook kind of did the work for us. Severe magazine, whatever that is. Fine Cooking Wine Enthusiast. That's a popular one. I think that one shows up. There we go. Wine Enthusiast magazine. Let's look for Wine Magazine. I keep spelling it wrong. Wine and Spirits. Okay, there's more Wine Magazines than I thought, which is good. Wine Magazine. So Wine and Spirits Magazine. You know what? We're going to get rid of this Wine and Spirit here. Wine Magazine. Wine Maker Magazine. Let's copy this one. It looks like there's one or two. Virginia Wine Lovers, it looks like. That's another one. So that is good for now. So I'm just going to keep it at that. You could probably do Wine Blogs, possibly, as another one I would try. Um, let's see. Wine. Uh, I'm not sure. Wine Books, possibly. And go back to my little cheat sheet blogs let's see magazines is there maybe um wine stores i guess it could be if you could buy wine apparel t-shirts and stuff wine apparel um there is probably wine facebook 
fan pages, kind of groups. Uh, but we're just going to stick with these three, and we're going to go. We're going to create an ad. We're going to, this will be real quick here, just to kind of show you how to do that ad and why we do it in these groups. We're going to create an ad. Let's just say we're trying to sell something, so we're going to do a website conversion ad. And we are going to go with continue. And we are going to go with, we're just going to delete all this stuff. We're going to, you're probably going to have a demographic of men or women a certain age. Like I said, I typically do women. Um, and we're going to search for, we're going to create an ad set. This will be uh, one campaign. And in our ad set, we are going to do one group. So these will be all wine manufacturers. So Kendall Jackson, we'll click that. Sutter Home, we'll click that. And we're going to do Sutter Home again for Sutter Home Wines. We're going to do the Behringer Vineyards. We're going to do Franzia. We want an audience uh, over 500,000. We'll get into the numbers here in just a second. Kim Crawford Wines. Echo Domani. Spanish Wine. Chateau Michel. We got two more, and Carlos Osi Rossi. There we go. And so what we're going to do is look over here. Like I said, anywhere from five, our audience size ideally is five hundred thousand to two million. That's what I like to use. Um, I've made it work with smaller audiences. I've made it work with larger audiences. That's just what I prefer. Is that range of five hundred to. 2 million. As you can see, the potential reach here is 1.8 million um, women, 25 to 65, who like any of these uh, brands. There's no overlap. Um, it's just if so. If women like this brand and this brand, they're not gonna. There's no overlap. So this would be ad set number one, and it would be under the wine manufacturers or wine. Let's let's say wine brands. Edit placement. I don't do Instagram. I don't do audience network. I don't do instant articles or write column. I only like doing the Facebook news feed on mobile and on desktop. Typically, I only do mobile, uh, but for this video, we'll do um, both. We'll just do a $5 budget. That's what I like starting off with. And here is how I name my ad set. Wine brands women 25 to 65 um, desktop and mobile and then I like to have the date here so that is the ad set that is how we will would do ad set number one ad set number two would be the wineries uh, so we would pl plug all these ones in the next ad set again you would um, go right here and then add them in all right here, each of these wineries. And then the next ad set, ad set number three, would be all the wine magazines, all these ones here. And then you would go here. And then you would do so on and so forth. So again, the research phase, um, this is a 23 minute video. You could do the research probably in about, uh, within 45 minutes. You do it one time and you're done. And what's really cool, Facebook didn't always have this, save this audience and you can call this wine brands women 25 to 65 um, yeah women wine brands 25 to 65 and what I like to do is I put in parentheses the size of the audience right here A little hack there so 1.8 million and you get that number from right here the potential reach so now I can save this audience so next time when I'm testing out another product um, I can just drop down and pull in this audience right away which is right here You'll just drop down use saved audience and you'll click wine brands, wine wineries, wine blogs, wine magazines, whatever audience you have saved. Makes it very, very, very simple. Um, again, when I got started with Facebook ads, they did not do this. And I don't even utilize the save audience as much as I should because it's, uh, it's, it's new to me. So that is how you do your customer research. Again, it kind of can be a tedious process. It is extremely important. And I would argue that it's the most important part of running a successful Facebook ad campaign. So that is it. If you want help, um, I have a webinar that I do. If you click on the link below, it's just right down uh, in the description. And sign up for the webinar. And I go kind of a deep dive into how to to start an e-commerce business with uh, very little um, upfront money uh, without losing money, your sanity, and or your reputation. So click on the link below and register for the free webinar. Thank you.